Hello and welcome to Q Sports International and Predator as they present the Alpha Las Vegas Open. 192 players playing 10 ball, $125,000 with prize funds for the winners. Stage one is two sets, best of seven games. If they're tied at the end, they will be settled by a shootout. Lagging for the break and looks like uh, Lee Van's gonna take hold of this one. And he does. Lee Van, one of the deadliest carry, uh, Q carriers in the world. This is George Teche in the booth along with Mark White bringing you the live action here on table two at the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino. Well, I was just about to take my headphones off, pack my bags and go home. I didn't well, was I talking too much? No, I didn't think you was going to introduce me. But well, I, I didn't <laughs> see you over there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we're sitting like, we're sitting almost on a two-seat sofa here, George, aren't we? We're very close. Pretty close. Pretty close, but look at these two guys. This is the Filipino invasion for this uh, uh, arena, and two of the Philippines finest. Lee Van Cortez on one of the deadliest Q carriers, and Roland Garcia, who is coming to his own. Roland has played uh, seven of these events. He's cashed in all but two. Lee Van has only played in two, but he cashed in both of them, a third and a fifth. Fifth here in Las Vegas last year, and uh, third in Wisconsin. Decent break, made the four rail up. Nice position on the one ball. So open, open shot on the one. The trick is to get on the two, like you just uh, mentioned. The three, excuse me, there is no. I didn't mention the two, George. Don't <laughs> bring me into it. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at this shot right here. Will he, will, will he draw this ball and nibble the nine to make sure he's open on the four? That's the shot, I think. Doesn't have to play that. No, he doesn't. He can just hold it right there real soft. Just like that. Uh-huh. Beautifully played. Lovely touch. But this just makes giving him the five ball. Actually, he's got a nice, nice line to the five. He's got just the right angle to come off the rail and go between the nine, the six, eight uh, for the five. Just like that. Just a little window that he has, and he's fine. Straight up for the six, either in the same pocket or to the left one. He'll pick and choose. This is some high powered. Uh, play here. We got some of the best players. These two guys uh, are known all over the world. This 43 year old sponsored by Davini Cues against his countryman is 41 years old sponsored by Predator. Nice check on that uh, cue ball. It came back real nice. It kind of spun first and then grabbed. Last time I saw Lee Van play was at the US Open last October. He was up against Jason Shaw. Mm -hmm. And Lee Van Cortez hardly gave him a shot. Jason got a kick on the two ball in the second rack and never got another shot. This guy's deadly. He ran out. He ran the he ran the set eight eight racks, I think, sort of seven or eight, something like that. With an open well, look at the table he just had right there. That was nice, nicely, nicely done. And um, two quality players. Took the first game. That was a break and run. And you know that's one of the things about these guys is they will go for the break and runs. All the other play, a lot of the other a lot of the other players are not going for the break and run. If there's any question that they might miss a shot or they don't like it, like the layout, they'll play safe. The powder. You, you, yeah, you just notice there that Lee Van Cortez, a, a lot of Filipinos do this, of mm -hmm. course, because of the, the humidity. I'm sorry. Yes. 
Yeah, I was going to say that because of the humidity, mm -hmm. you're like we're like an old married couple, you and I, George. You're finishing my sentences for me. <laughs> I noticed that, and uh, uh, I'll let you finish. <laughs> yeah, good start there from Lee Van Corteza. Winner breaks, of course. Some great matches going on. If you'd like to see Shane Van Boning versus Chang Jung Lin, you can go to our YouTube channel, Billiard.tv. They're in action. Shane and Chang shared the first two racks. In fact, Shane's just won the third, so Shane is 2-1 up. We've got Kachi in action over on the table just outside this arena. Jose Alberto Delgado against Catchy in that one. Mickey Krause in action against local boy from Battle Creek, Jeremy Seaman. As we see the break go off. And again, an open shot on the two. Not yeah. a bad layout. Look at the way that on the one ball, George. On the one ball, I thought the one ball went in the side. Having a look away. It looks like he can cut it in. It's awfully close. I think he's pushing, George. And then he must not be able to. Jump shot on the uh, on the ten, or a thin cut, because you can see it. I think he's left more ball than he wanted to. Two very experienced players here; they know their way around this table, okay. <laughs> Two years difference in age. I wonder how long, how, how many times they've played each other. Oh. <laughs> Hundreds, I would think. Background there, you could have you saw um, Delgado from Spain. In his match against Kachi, we saw the back of Kachi's head. Meanwhile, back to the action here. He called the one ball on the side. Yeah, no intention of making it, I don't think, is he? Or has he? Wow, he did. He gave it a go. Two-way shot. Yes, yeah, smart shot, wasn't it? Almost a free shot, George. Mm-hmm. He doesn't get, well, if he misses it worse, um, he has him hooked with the 10 or the 3. Instead, he's given a little bit of a kick shot. And we'll see what, how Lee Van handles this. He said one, so he's calling it. I think he's cutting it down the rail. Wow, he is as well. What a shot this is. Brilliant there's shot. There's you see some of the league players coming around to watch some of these Elite, elite players play. These are two of 32 players with Fargo's over 800, 800 plus out of the top 100. Two ten combo and he takes game number two. Roland just can't get into the game at the moment, can he? Well, he hasn't had much to shoot at. But you were right. There's Roland. He had a second place finish in Arizona uh, to Fetter Gorst. Yeah, the, was that the very first one? Um, no, I think it was Biado the first one. I think he oh, was yes, the second one. Oh, yes, it was, one. wasn't it? Yeah. Biado the first mm -hmm. one. Yeah, I didn't go to that one. No. 
That was in July, wasn't it? Back in 2021, I believe. I remember, I don't remember the dates, but uh, I know it was the, the, the very first uh, Pro Billiard Series tournament. We had two of them in Arizona. I was privileged to commentate at both of them. Yeah, I was at the second one. Fedor retained his title. Mm -hmm. And to tell you the truth, I don't remember if it was the first or the second. Fedor was, oh my, so humble. Uh, he had a flight in an hour and 20 minutes, leaving Phoenix, not Tucson. And it's an hour and a half drive to the airport. He agreed to an interview after his match. So I asked him two questions and sent him on his way. But he, I mean, any, I don't care. I, I wouldn't, I would not have said yes. I've got, you know, I'm not gonna make my flight. Look at this break. Oh. Well, there's Roland's chance. Yeah, four is very difficult. And it does go into the top left or bottom left as we look on the screen now from the overhead. And it's very difficult to get there. Option to play a full 10 as well, maybe. One, two and three, not a problem. Beautiful action on the cue ball there. Lovely stroke right the way through the ball. It looks like he has angle to go. No, he doesn't. I was going to say going right into the five ball and have a four six combo. But he might go just a hair forward and shoot the four past the ten. Oh, he came back. The three ball. I didn't see the three ball. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Mark's directing George, if me your here. eyes get as bad as mine, we are in trouble. Well, the, <laughs> the, 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 first, the first set of the last match I just called, I couldn't find my glasses. I thought I left them in the room. They're on your head, mate. <laughs> well, they are now. I found them in my uh, backpack that I Oh, carried. look, he's gone for precise position here. Has he gone far enough? No. Nope. Oh, that's so unlucky. Another roll of the ball, and he's got the 410. He was frightened of overrunning it. Oh, can he just jump the edge of the seven ball? I think he can. Can he get it up in the east? He's got his air rush out. I've got one of them now. George. I know, I heard. Don't know how to use it, but I've got one. It looks good. When I turn up with all my equipment, I look, you'd think I was a pro. <laughs> Well, Until you see me shoot my first shot, and then you think, who the hell is this guy? Well, with these jackets we just got from Predator, we look like a pro, too. Certainly, yeah. Thank Not you, sure what he called. Maybe just playing safe. No. He did call the 10. Oh, well, he's left the four. Well, I think he can count himself just a little bit unfortunate there to finish just a ball's width shorter pace this table does seem to grab a little more than table one the the bed of the cloth doesn't seem to be as fast as table ones yeah, just for those guys that don't know we're we're in two separate rooms here at the rear all suites for our stream tables and the other stream table is in a much much bigger room than this one this room is about i don't know half the size would you say george um no this is a big room but not as big correct I just maybe, maybe two thirds two thirds i would i would go two thirds oh half. this is a great effort good shot i tell you this guy he's so impressive to watch i'll tell you what two of the most impressive filipino players i watched uh barring carlo Biato, uh is Levan Corteza and uh, Johan Chua. What about Bustamante? Well, Francisco is, he was extremely impressive. I'm talking about today. Ah. Today, right now. Bustamante, of course, is one of the most impressive players, but uh, he's pushing 60-ish, he's mid-60s. Another good bank, two in a row. And these guys are in the prime of their careers, playing great pool. Levan Corteza is actually named 
after Lee Van Cleef. His father was a big, big Western fan. Yeah. See how I finish your sentences? Every time. But you looked at I'm me. I'm not going to bother turning up anymore. You looked at me <laughs> so I would finish it. <laughs> you did. So that one's on you. <laughs> uh. Oh, he's looking good. He's just looking so good. So poised. 3 0 is going to be. Fargo's, folks. This man right here has an 812 Fargo, and his opponent has an 802. Very little between them, hey? Yeah, 10 points. But there is three racks between them, and that's the score that matters at the moment. He's looking in fine form. I wonder how many times he's wiped that cue down. <laughs> in his career. <laughs> Referee getting those uh, cost two balls as tight as he possibly can. Checking for any little gaps. Roland seems relaxed enough, just sitting there, arm up on the arena, he's all right. Well, he's just sitting there thinking, 3-0, no hill for a climber. Not me, anyway. Just give me an opportunity. Let me get out of this chair and I'll uh, do what I can. Is that the same finger twitch that Carlo does? From Lee Van, did you notice his I finger twitching? I didn't see which finger was twitching. This one. The ring finger. Because I know Carlo twitches one of them when he's shooting. I can't remember which one the Aldo does. Yeah. Going for the the eight combo. Right eye dominant look, the right eye. Well, he's not on today, is he? He's, everything's going wrong at the moment. Not quite some way off with that, George. Yeah, that 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 just that got away from him. Well, straight back, just a little ways for the two. Oh, he's going around. I thought he was just going to stun it back. And shoot the two ball to the to the corner pocket over here. He must have had more angle than what what appeared for us here on the screen. Nice stroke again. Perfect angle, George, to drift over for the four. Mm -hmm. Interesting to see if he uses the second rail for position on the four. Yeah, it's easier. It makes sure you get the six ball out of play. <laughs> Looking very comfortable. Mm-hmm. Just to cut a few more balls, and he closes out the first set. It's a quick one, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Assuming that he does make these remaining five balls, now four balls. I'm loving the new carpet, George, aren't you? The new carpet. I didn't notice it. Oh, that one. Yeah, the one on the floor, not the ceiling, George, the one on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Mark notices every detail. I do. Every of detail. I, do. I know you do. <laughs> I'm more concerned about what's blue on that table, the very top of it. Five, is it 50 inches by 100? What's that, mate? Uh, the surface of the table. 
of the plane surface. I don't know. I know it's nine, nine foot by four and a half. Mm. That's all I know. And they're four and a quarter inch pockets. Okay. And I do also know that's the first set to leave Van Corteza. And we'll go to a break, I believe. Back to the live action. Roland lost the lag, so he breaks first in the second set, so he gets to come to the table. That way, Levan cannot control the entire sets. What a break. That sounded really, uh, went up in the air pretty hard, pretty high, and came down pretty hard. Players in the background there, we looked like league players. They didn't recognize any notable players that I might know. Open shot on the on the one. Does that two ball go between? <laughs> Surely not, does it? If it that does. does, that it sums does. up Roland's it luck does. in this match so far. Because he, he can he can probably hit both of them and it'll go right through. Not off one or the other. In other words, he'll kind of just hit him and go right through it. Yeah, like a pinball, like yeah. bumpers on a pinball. And he can play position because he's going to hit this hard. I'd, I'd fire right at right at the middle of those two and uh, take the cue ball up for the three to get where you are right now, where the cue ball is right now. A couple of Filipinos in the background there watching the countrymen. Wherever you go. Oh no, he didn't even try, he played the, what? Yeah, well played. He didn't gamble. Now I want to set that up, see if it goes. Well, we're in Vegas. Yeah. So. He's gambling. The place of gambling. He's not gambling. Done. Needs a big shot here though, George. He doesn't have an angle to get back there, does he? I think he's got an angle, he's slight angle, he can go forwards. High right, can he go, oh, he's called the, trying to create a new no let's just see what he does here i don't know what he's doing yeah if he's banking the ball he's probably going to come back and oh look at oh, this what a great effort but the wrong pocket so then a real chance for roland garcia oh, i tried to play it off the nine george i think what a great effort that was that's what i love about the filipinos so creative aren't they Almost like a one pocket shot, that, but much harder. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not sure if he was playing it off the nine, but good call. This is interesting. Look what he's doing. Look what he's doing here, George. Jacking up to create an angle that's not there. I saw this on YouTube the other day. Brilliant shot. Um. Go, oh, no, surely not. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, oh dear. You know, <laughs> on a shot like that, especially at this level, these guys have played rail first shots all their lives. He's working so hard, Roland Garcia, and he hasn't got a rack to, pr to show for it yet. Now then, can he get a bit of luck behind that uh, six looks ball? Like he he, he has. looks like he did. And the seven. Yeah, 
holds up his hand to acknowledge that he had a little bit of luck, but this is one of those round firsts that you've yeah. been talking about, George. And he'll have position on the six for the six nine combo if he if he executes the shot. Much too thin. Yep. And and he scratched no, as he know. He oh, he's got it back. Look. He came close. Anything you can do, I can do as well, he says. Way too thin. This is a. Well, I, th I thought he was going to try to kick it in. But when you can hit it with that speed, why bother? Do you leave a shot? No. Six ball has him. We've got a great New Zealand versus Australia battle going on at the moment. Sullivan Clark against James Gio Giardis. Oh, I see that. Okay. Sullivan Clark took the first rack there. And Kankachi 2 1 up against Jose Alberto Delgado. Ralph Suke 2 1 down to Albin Ocean. Albin Ocean beat Billy Thorpe yesterday 4 0 4 0 and played absolutely immaculate ball. You called that game and I was in the stands watching it. A little bit of napping in between, but he played absolutely flawless. Jump stick, maybe, or not. I know Lee Van loves to kick where he can. Sometimes, when you've got the chance of making the ball, it's a bit of a thin one, though, George, isn't it, to cut into yeah, the side of the jump stick? He's going to kick it, just by the way he called it. And the oh. cue ball's gone. Now then, can that change? Well, he'd loved if that four ball had dropped in as well. That would have been a perfect scenario because then he could have placed the cue ball anywhere he wants <laughs> for the six. Look at that, if the four ball had just gone in there. Well, the way this lays, he should pretty much be able to play ball in hand position. It's all in speed, though. He's going to use just one rail, I believe. And it's come down the same rail, just past, just to about where the side pocket is. How far off the rail, we'll see. And he got just there. And he's gone a little bit further, maybe, but he's all right. Very smart pair of shoes he's got on there. He's splashed out, short George. He's been shopping. See, folks, I told you, Mark <laughs> notices everything. <laughs> I've never really looked at a player's shoes. I, I look at everything. Uh, no, I uh, I find that admirable. I just I think that's great. Uh, you know, I just two rail kick. That's the best way to play this. And he got it a little thick on the oh inside. Oh no! Doesn't want this in. Well, it doesn't matter, does it? He says, oh, well, if the wheels are going to fall off, let them all fall. I mean, if that had stayed up, have. he'd got a hook on it. And look at this. How's your luck, Roland? Six ball goes in the side and leaves him nicely on the seven. Oh, Wait. but then Levan says, no, thank you. He got up. He got up off that one. A lot of movement. What did he say? Yeah, saying? he called it. He fluked it. Watch this. Seven ball. Goes across the table. Comes oh, back across. And he, goes in the right pocket. But he's he caught. That's the pocket he was playing. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, Roland got out of his chair. And Lee Van Cortez said, I called that pocket. Yeah, yep, he did. Rightly so. Well, your luck's out today, Roland. Don't go on them tables today. <laughs> That's quite the shot. But, and they're both laughing about it because uh, just like playing one pocket, you, you missed your ball. It doubles out, goes across and banks right back in, and you're still shooting. That is Craig Herman. In the background there, one of our table mechanics. 
Helps set up everything. With his arms folded, watching these players play in the stands. As he sits in the stands. Some of the behind the scenes help that we have here to setting all these 330 pool tables up. Do you have you met Craig? Yeah, it really is incredible, isn't it? Look at that as we look again at the fluke. Well, I'll tell you what, that caught the diamond before mm. and it still went in. Our referee, part of our great team, assembled by John Lehman. Did the last game on here, George? How was it breaking the table last time? Uh, it, this Brit table breaks a little tougher than the one than, than table one too. And it, as you can see by the marks on the table, most everyone is breaking from the side. Maybe they should try breaking from the center. Well, uh, I saw a couple of attempts here and there, and uh, in the past match, and. Uh, Nothing no doing? success, no success, no. So they go back to it. Playing safe. And he got by the four, so he will get the safety. Well, yes, he has. Called the kick shot straight away. Top left hand corner as we look. Hatchy and Delgado, 2-2 two -two now. Filler and Philip Yee, 2-2 two -two as well. And he's made it, what a great shot that is. And look at this, <laughs> got a shot on the two as well. This guy's amazing. Oh, what a great shot that is. Well, the roller will be quick to get the air rush out. And these are the types of shot that Q is designed to, to be used for. Take the back part of it off, shorten it up. I'm interested to see if he'll dart it or just the regular jump. See how he addresses it. Some people like to use the dart technique. I, I, I can't do it. I, I can't even I, use I, the, I. <laughs> I can't use the dart technique when I'm playing darts, let alone, <laughs> let alone well, playing pool. He's shooting it like I would. It's like you and I, Mike. They're playing safe all the way, just drawing the ball back off of the ball. Stay under cover. Roland been playing this game long enough to oh, know yeah. that sometimes everything goes right, sometimes. Everything goes wrong. That's okay, though. You know, that's the beauty and the beast of pool. It's what keeps us coming back yeah. for more, George, isn't yeah. it? Well, the short six coming out this time. Wait, is this going to be a double jump? This could this could be our second double jump experience together, George. This. Do you remember Jesus Atencio? Oh, I think he's going to jump to go rail first. Oh, is he? Yeah, I think oh, so. I, I would. I, the double jump is that he's got to jump a full ball. Yeah, he's oh, jumping oh, to go yeah, rail yeah. first. Yeah. He's jumping two balls, though. Nearly a great shot. And he's got Nearly a great again, shot. He? <laughs> he's he got, got him behind lucky? the nine. He has. Here comes air rush number three, or number two, because. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? Lee Vance is. Not Predator. He might be able to go rail first here with a little draw. I like it a lot. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, this is a class in kicking from these two and jumping and positional play. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Well played.
Well, it looks like we're going to get Mr. Garcia on the scoreboard unless he uh, falters. Nicely played. Judged it well. Play the eight into the same pocket, maybe easy. I think you might be able to hold it for the side pocket or play it for the side pocket. He wants, let's see how he plays. A lot of these guys know it's got more angle. I think you're right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right he could play right the same pocket. He had minimal cue ball until that shot. Well, if this does go to a shootout. Presuming you know later on it might. Who do you fancy in the shootout? Well, since Roland has played seven events and Lee Van has only played two, I would have to fancy Roland with the experience of, of being in the shootouts. This is almost like a spot shot, I like one. And it goes. We're level in the second set, one one. That's Roland's first game on the scoreboard. And see if it steps up his step. If it picks up his step, looks like it has. Back to the second game of the second set. Roland taking the first one, finally getting an X on the board. Breaks dry and leaves a straight in one ball. Yeah, and all he's got to do is stop the cue ball where the one is for a shot on a two. Three. Close by, four close by. Shane Van Boning, quick score update here, has lost the first set against Chang Jung Lin. And Chang Jung Lin won up in the second. Victor Zelinski, the reigning champion of this event, George, is, well, he's just taken the first set, 4 0 against Alvin Anguito. And Alvin Ocean has taken the first set against Ralph Suke as well. short but he's all right yeah he can run up and come back or uh, play shape to the corner no yep he's just gonna draw it over yeah yeah just a thought he had soft uh, draw oh no he is going the rail George he's using the rail I thought he had more angle when I first saw it and then I looked at it again and it looked like he just have a draw right over there's no flies on you George <laughs> Have I don't heard, understand you know that, that one. Expression? No, that's, I haven't. Oh, okay. I didn't get that. Okay, it means so nothing gets past you, really. Oh, anyways. well. At at first, at first glance, I thought he had uh, uh, too much angle to come over from the four, so he would just take the line shape and and go for it. And then, at the second uh, angle that the monitor gave us, it looked like he could uh, just swing right over. Meanwhile, come out of the corner, two rails for the six.
remember if you want to see any of the scores or any of the brackets, anything like that, guys, head to probilliardseries.com. Everything you need to know is on there. And if you want to keep an eye on any of the outside tables that we're talking about, you can go to tv.kazoom.com. It's a nice, easy app to use. You can register and just for a, a small fee, you can choose whatever other table you want to watch. But of course, the two stream mainstream tables with the commentary, they're absolutely free. Billiard TV on YouTube for table one, or Facebook for this one. And at the same time, when you're on that site and you look at the, our bracket, it is different than what some people have been asking for a full bracket. Uh, you can tap on the player if you have a pad or click on it and it'll highlight any if match that player has had this event. Nice little nudge on the 10. 2-1 then to Ivan Corteza in control. Roland will still be hoping though that he can force this to a shootout. Little call out to our sponsors. Well, the balls are racked. Q Sports International, Predator Group, Cyberts, Building Supplies, Alpha Coin, Medalla Light Beer, Rums of Puerto Rico, Kamui. Please, 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 please say Rums of Puerto Rico again. <laughs> Only if I get a shot right now, my throat's so scratchy, I could have a shot of Rums of Puerto Rico. Another great match I've just spotted on one of our outside tables. David Alcady, 3 2 up against the hitman, Torsten Holman. You know, it's funny because I, uh, I remember him kind of bumping fist with uh, Delgado at the very first, and that one, I, I just saw the back of his head and I thought that was David. Good call out. <coughs> well, leave that. With a two to one lead in the second set to stay out of a shootout, Roland needs to turn that around to go into a shootout. Well, he's not liking the rack there. He was complaining. Um, nothing you can do about it, human error. You know, I've been doing these tournaments now for quite a few of them, a lot of them. I, you don't see that very often. That's probably the third or fourth time in all the tournaments I've been watching, either on the stream or commentating. It's unfortunate when it happens, but you have human people racking racks, and believe me, it is non-intentional. Not a fan of the template racks, George? They're too predictable. You can, you can, uh, you know, you can set up your your speed and position. These guys, these guys have, have them tuned in so well. Now then, is this going to hold up over the side? It's not. I don't think. Has he got the bank back into the? Side? Oh, Lee Van is still seething about that rack. Did you see the way he looked back? At the ref. I'm glad I'm not the ref at the moment. <laughs> really, if looks could kill. I, I wouldn't <laughs> want a gun I wouldn't want a gunslinger <laughs> looking at me like that. Named after Lee Van Cleef, of course. Yeah. <laughs> he's still seething. Look at his shaking his shaking his head. He's he's not seizing about missing the ball. He's still um, and it, and it is very unfortunate. I mean, how many times do you, when you're playing pool folks out there, how many times are you racking your own and you slug rack yourself? You do it yourself. 
So what do you do, slap yourself in the face? Or say, oh wait, that rack didn't count. Let's do it again. And with the balls, you know, in random oh. order, that's gonna fall. Used all the pocket there. <laughs> wow. That's why they're four and a quarter inches wide. He's surprised it went in. That might not go in when we're finishing or when we're starting the 10 ball. In the world, yeah, the world WPA, world 10 ball. Starts on Monday. Yeah, we've got the ladies starting tomorrow. 62, sorry, 64 ladies from around the world. Got a great field. You know, Fantastic. There, folks, there is a ton of talent in these halls and ballrooms walking around. You know, one of the things I've really noticed is the fans, the league players, all walking up and taking pictures with the pros. I mean, even, even myself, I've never taken advantage of that uh, opportunity or availability. Last night I found myself in this kind of a strange, strange uh, predicament. I bought two tips from uh, Copigny. And when I went to get him out of his case, him and his two brothers were there, and they're very, you know, uh, uh, Coping Chung recognized me from uh, when I called his uh, world 10 ball win. And so uh, they were very friendly, and actually, that would have been a great photo opportunity. I didn't take it. Well, we'll go to a break. We are back to the live action. Roland, break here for the first time. He leads. Oh, he really gave them. He made a ball, didn't he? Did he not make a ball? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought I saw one go in. It's funny when you even stop to count the tables, they're hard, the, the balls, they're hard to count the way they're laying on the table. I mean, look at that. They've all gone to the side rails. Look. Yeah, nothing. The ten balls, the only thing in the middle didn't yeah. move. <laughs> moved about an inch. Cut down the rail. Fairly big pocket. Easy. 2-2. Two, two. Second set. It just needs to get to the center of the table. Chang Jung Ling on the hill against Shane Van Boning. He's one set up and he's 3-0 up in the second. Shane could be going to the one loss side. That's going to make the one loss side pretty dangerous, but if that happens, uh, I want to see the match between Chang and Alvin Ocean. After watching Alvin play, I, 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 was, I was so impressed. I, I rarely say much to the players. I think they have their own, you know, mind set, and I try to leave them alone. But I walked up to him and said, Alvin, that was one hell of a match. That's, I think that's the best I've seen him play against Billy Thorpe. 
Whoa. Oh, oh, man. Oh, Lee, mm. I wonder if this plays with his head. The rack and now this. Yeah, he's not happy. Yeah, that can get in your head real quick. George. Well, fortunately, it's almost on the rail, so it's kind of a what you call, as far as down the rail shots go, easier than most. But he pinched it off. I bet if I had not said easier than most, that would just split the pocket. Sorry, Lee Van. But didn't leave much. Yeah, he's gonna try and get him behind the eight here, is he? Looks like he's winding up to take the cue ball all the way around the table, bank it in the side, in the corner, and take the cue ball all the way around the table. Lee Van not happy. Oh no, he's gonna just oh he's looking up there. I saw him looking up on top, and I just wanted to see. I thought maybe he needed room to get around the nine. Position on the six, but do you take this cut on, Mark? Yes. I mean, when it's you know it's the same difficulty as a safety, you might as well play go for the go for the ball. Well, he tried it and he yeah. caught it from behind, missed it on the way up. Good job the rail was there, George. <laughs> and the one thing about that is, if he catches it fat, it could have kissed off the. Another look, the another look back at the referee again. <laughs> <laughs> He's in a bad place at the moment. Mentally. Roland can take advantage of it now. If that happens, then we will get to see one of the best shootouts. Yeah, the best Filipino I've seen at the shootout is Carlo Biardo. He absolutely smashes it. And that was the, the same routine that Sky Woodward was going last night. Except for his first shot. Except for the first one which he missed, yeah. Mm -hmm. Slid quite a bit that. Yeah, that slid off the rail. Well, he had the he had the different English on it. Now a spring in the step of Roland Garcia as he knocks his ten in to go on the hill in the second set, having lost the first. And it goes. Lee Van not getting out of his chair to help get the balls out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to have to tell you, I'm on the player's side. <laughs> I'd be unhappy too. But, as I mentioned, I've been seeing these guys rack for the players quite a bit. And there, as you can see, you can see Lee Van intently watching the referee. And Roland is kind of like, <laughs> I don't even want to look at this. Roland's just wondering what he's going to get. <laughs> he's just thinking, right, I'm going to wind myself right up here and just <laughs> go hell for leather. Give it a good old smash. Well, he's going to the center look now. Center-ish. He smacks him pretty good. He broke okay. Oh, look at the one. Stayed over the corner. <laughs> Can you believe it? It was a solid break. But oh, I couldn't have hit them much better than that. No. Well, 
Well, Ivan, you're at the table. They're spread out nicely. It's all up to you. Yeah, if you're being picky, you could say the eight ball is in a slightly difficult position, but in relation to where the nine is, he only just get, has to get on it straightish from either side, really, George, mm -hmm. on the eight. So that's not even going to be a problem, I don't think. Three to the four, you could say, is the key shot. This is a little tricky. Oh, that's nice the oh, way that's spun that down. That's an angle. So you got one. He's going to have to put some pace in Plus this, though. You know, he could go rail first with draw. Just a little bit of uh, low English, bring it straight up. Looks like he can do it. Just he's going right at the ball. He's going straight at it. Great shot. Oh yeah. Mission accomplished. Now then, it's in your own hands, Lee Van. This five ball stuff. The little graphic there with the scores on looks quite nice, doesn't it? With those two Filipino flags there. <laughs> it does look nice good. Nice colour coordination. Beautiful. I must admit, I've got a little bit of OCD sometimes, George. I love things matching up nicely. <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned about the A, though, on the Cortese. You can't quite see that. That's playing with my mind a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they made it, they'd have to make the print a little smaller, the font a little smaller. <laughs> How would you like it if Manny Pacquiao was sitting in the audience? I'm just glad Conrad, musician, isn't on that on that <laughs> caption. They would make the font a, a lot smaller. <laughs> you made me stop and think there for a while. He's going to come around the ten here and get straight in, as you as you mentioned earlier. It's perfect, isn't it? I just come up just a hair. Just past the side pocket. Depends if he wants to go around the table or straight down towards it. He'll hill if he makes these last three balls, and then it will be his break. Played it very confidently. Has he got any angle on it, though? And I think I he has. Know, that looks pretty straight. This is dangerous. Uh, he's got a little bit because he's going high left look. Tricky little tail. Oh, he's okay. Looks better from the overhead, doesn't it? Well, it's still a tough shot. He's stretchy. And in it goes right in the heart of the pocket. We're level three, three. Set number two. Shane Van Bonin has pulled a rack back against Chang Jung Ling. He trails 3 1 in the second set and one set down, though. And we'll go to a one minute break and we'll be right back. the live action you have Roland Garcia on your screen thinking I got to get this game I got to get out of this chair and this man oh my lord one ball goes straight in oh look at the look at the two yeah, look, look at the three though <laughs> okay. look at those three but the, the nine ten and seven didn't move more than three inches apiece
a bit of work to do to get somewhere on that three. There's a great safety shot, though, if he can get somewhere near this oh, back yeah. rail, George. That'll be perfect, won't it? Right there is where he wants to get. He's coming nicely. Now he shoots that three ball two rails out and stuns the cue ball between those balls. He might just run off the six here as well, might he? Just Well, he didn't stun the cue no. ball between them. Stopped it. Stopped it, yeah. So not over yet. Still a lifeline for Roland Garcia. He's got a look at this. It's awkward queuing, though. Top of Mount Everest, as Tony Robles would say. I'm missing my buddy in the commentary booth. Tony, if you're listening, hope you're well, mate. Hope your son's doing well on the baseball field. Uh, he said he was doing great. I actually um, uh, messaged Tony a couple times. We were watching your match at 12 o'clock. We were in the U YouTube chat. Oh, really? Yes. And uh, so Tony watching, came in. He so was he, watching. Yeah. So he, he wasn't. Was watching. So he's not teaching his son baseball. I'm joking. He said he just got back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he mentioned it. Sent me some great pictures yesterday of his son. Mm -hmm. And they're golden years. Oh, he's caught. Uh-oh. Well, here's a chance then. Well, shootout is still possible. No one to blame but yourself there, Lee Van. Well, getting to the six from the five. If you can get there. probably go to a shootout. He has to get there with the right angle too. Because he's still got to go to the seven. He's got to bring this ball down to where the seven is. Almost just above the seven and slide down. He doesn't have the angle. He can't. I don't know if he can get the cue ball back there. Might have to go high inside here, high left. Well, he's going to come. Yeah, he's he's looking where that would go. That goes to about between the first and second diamond. That's about where he's going to go with the cue ball. That's where it's going to hit. And he's got to hit it real good. He's going outside English. He's not going there. Wow, what a shot this is. There's a highlight shot, Brilliant if I ever shot. saw one. Brilliant shot from Roland Garcia. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Little follow. Played. Now then, probably play the eight into the, uh, sorry the nine into the side. So then, just stun this nine ball into the side for perfect position on the ten and shoot out still. We are going to go to a shootout. What a gutsy performance this is from Roland Garcia. What a beautiful shot to get on the six. Brilliant. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go to a shootout. Well, we're going to stay with you, folks. Uh, you've seen enough highlights for a little bit and uh, interviews. And as we update those, we'll bring more to you. Meanwhile, our referee getting ready to start spotting these guys the shootout. Yeah, we are going to nip out, guys, for right. a quick, quick break, and we'll be back. Oh.
we are back to the live action with one of the players rolling. Not back at the table yet, but we're going to a shootout, folks. The referee has already spotted the 10 ball where it goes, right behind the spot where it's racked in the rack. Nice little white sign. Four innings will be played. If the score is tied at the end, it goes back, it's backed up one diamond, goes to sudden death. They will alternate sides. And uh, if it goes to sudden death, the winner will have be the one that makes the last shot. They both get the same inning, so. I don't recall, I know that uh, Roland has been in seven events. I can't tell you the number of shootouts he's been in, but Lee Van has only been in two, one in Las Vegas and one in Wisconsin uh, last year. So experience goes to Roland as far as these shootouts go. Uh, shot making ability, after seeing that position he just played on that six ball, I, I, I can't give the nod to either player. 10 points difference in their Fargo. I uh, can't give the nod to either player. So we're gambling, folks. Just a quick update for you, George and viewers. Chang Jung Lin has beaten Shane Van Boning two sets to zero. Shane on the one loss side. Shootout, first inning. Lee Van broke first, so he gets to choose the side and the option of going first. <laughs> Dead center, wraps the cue ball out of the corner, a la Carlo Biato, except the speed's not there. Carlo hits it a little firmer than that. I like, I like that, or I like using the center English and going to the side rail and up to the head rail. Either one, shooting either way. Yeah, it's very much a, a personal preference, sure. isn't it, this shot? We've seen it yeah. shot in so many different ways. We've even seen a scratch from <laughs> Tyler Steyer, I remember. remember. That. Yeah. Yeah. Nicely played from Garcia. He went the other route, you see. Went the one rail, mm -hmm. George. Or just with higher English, I mean. And then yeah, it's just, it's just the natural way, and there's no scratch line. Unless you hit it real hard, it does have a tendency of going three rails to the side pocket. Craig Herman in the background there. Tyler Blowers in the background. Yeah, another good young talent, Tyler <coughs> Blowers. <coughs> First flinch. The first flinch from Lee Van Corteza. Let's see how Roland follows it up. What did he do? He's got a lot of spin on that cue ball. Another great American, I tell you, who is making waves. Great player, Lucas Francesco Verna. He's up against Mark Beisterbosch from Holland. And Lucas has taken the first set there, 4-1. He's going well. Fedor Gorse has just taken the first set against Chris Reinhold, 4-3. Back to this one. Garcia with the advantage as he makes his one. Doesn't falter on that one. Yeah, and remember they are on the shot clock still. No extensions, of course. Mm -hmm. Shoot out. Same speed. I, I just 
Actually, that's a little, both, both the two that he made were just a little, little bit harder. Still the advantage though with Roland, if he can make this, it means Cortezo will have to make his last one. So this to put a bit more pressure and in it goes. So all the pressure now is on Cortezo. He must make this, otherwise he will lose. Josh Filler has gone through two sets against Philip Yi. Must make when Lee Van comes to the table. This is high noon. No, he's made it, he's kept it going. So still though, advantage Garcia because he's still got another shot to go to win it. Yeah. If he doesn't make it, we're gonna go to sudden death. Even more excitement, George. <laughs> the cue ball gets backed up. One diamond in that same one diamond from the rail box. It's all on the shot. Will he flinch? No. Straight in. And he wins it by four to three. Four to three in the shootout. We'll be back with our next match, guys. We're not sure who it is yet, but we will be back. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, George. In the booth with me, and uh, we'll see you guys all later.